Hi guys, I'm in Faro, in the Algarve's capital. And on this video, I'm gonna show you the best things to do in the city. Faro is the capital of the Algarve and the main getaway to this region. The city is historically and culturally rich and surrounded by the impressive Ria Formosa Nature Reserve. I revisited Faro in August 2020, 12 years after my first visit, and I really loved it. In this video, I will show you the 10 best things to do in Faro. Arco da Vila is a beautiful and monumental art that replaces the Arab getaway to the old city of Faro. The present gorgeous facade of Arco da Vila was built by the Italian architect Francesco Xavier Fabri and was inaugurated in 1812. On the top stands a statue of St. Thomas Aquinas, and right above there is a charming bell tower. When you visit the old town, you cannot miss the opportunity to admire and walk through Arco da Vila. A trip to Faro cannot be completed without visiting its old town, featuring lovely cobblestone streets, important landmark buildings, distinguished tiled houses and Roman passages. Faro Old Town is a city within the city, and there are many things to do in the Old Town, but I also suggest that you wander around to see the remains of the ancient city gates and walls. While in the Old Town, you cannot miss the resilient Sé Cathedral. The interior has chapels in Baroque, Gothic and Mannerism styles, sumptuously decorated with intricate gilded wood altars and gazed azulejos, Portuguese tiles. You can also visit the Museum of the Cathedral, The cloister, with a small garden and chapels, including a bony one. And climb up the 68 steps of the bell tower to see the beautiful panoramic view. Another church that you cannot miss in Faro is Carmel Church, one of the most beautiful churches in the Algarve. The interior of this church has intricate gilded wood carved altars with numerous cherubs. But what brings most of the visitors to this church is its iconic Bonny Chapel. The bonnies and skulls of over 1,000 monks fill every single available surface of the chapel and they are displayed in different geometric patterns. It was the first time that I visited a Bonny Chapel and I was completely in awe. Located in the old town within walk distance of Lago da Sé, it is Faro Municipal Museum housed within the fascinating Our Lady of Assumption convent. The collection is closely linked to the history of Faro, since the time that the city was called Osonoba. The highlights include Islamic artifacts, the bus of Emperor Hadrian and Agrippina, and the outstanding mosaic of sea god Oceanus, which was excavated from a site close to Faro's railway station. Faro Museum is open from Tuesday to Sunday, costs only 2 euros, and just the build alone makes the visit worthwhile. If you are looking for the best place in Faro to have a drink with a view, the answer is Castelo Bar. Located atop the historic Faro city walls, this lounge bar and restaurant provides a unique view over Ria Formosa. 
and there is also live music, including Fado Nights. Leaving the city center and heading towards the village of Estoy, it is one of my favorite Faro's attractions, Estoy Palace. Built in 1840, it was restored recently and converted into a hotel. It is the unique Rococo-style palace with gorgeous French-inspired gardens in the Algarve. There is still a delightful pavilion covered in blue and white tiles with majestic stairways. Often overshadowed by the stunning Algavia beaches, Ria Formosa Natural Park is one of the best places for outdoor activities in the Algarve. This wetland of international importance is one of the seven wonders of nature of Portugal, and you should not miss sailing through the beautiful channels of Ria Formosa while in Faro. If you want to go to the beach while in Faro, my recommendation is Desert Island. This inhabited island has one of the best beaches in the Algarve, with crystal clear water and soft sand. Ilha Deserta is the perfect place to rest and relax when you are in Faro. Another thing that you cannot miss in Faro, it is its lively nightlife. The city has many bars, restaurants and clubs. My favorite are Aperitivo Bar and Columbus that provides an extraordinary view of the old town. The city has options to please everyone. These are the 10 best things to do in Faro. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Thanks for watching and see you next time.